300 college students from all over the Northeast U.S. competed in Cornell's first ever hackathon this weekend. A hackathon is where teams of computer programmers develop software and present it to judges. The event was organized by two sophomores and took place at the Physical Sciences Building. The hackers have 36 hours to create a project from scratch. At stake are prizes like Google Glass, Windows phones, iPads, and cash. Some of the projects that students came up with included an app that calculates the cost of road trips and a program that makes Facebook's data easier to access. One team designed an app that lets you check in at sports stadiums and receive rewards. You're working on one project for the entire weekend. Like, you had to be really dedicated to it and really excited about it. Another team traveled seven hours from Carnegie Mellon University to be here this weekend. I've never been to Cornell before. I um, thought it would be a good chance to meet people and have some fun hacking over the weekend and explore the city of Ithaca. The hackers worked around the clock to get their projects done, with lots of people only sleeping about four hours each night. Tagani and his teammates even slept inside the physical sciences building. There's couches over there. That's where we spent the night. It could be more comfortable. <laughs> Sleeping situation aside, Cornell's first hackathon got positive reviews from the students. We really like it. We think it's really fun. Um, we definitely dig all the free food. I've been to a couple other hackathons before, so I'm really glad that Cornell finally decided to host one of their own. Representatives from companies like Microsoft, Google, and Priceline were there to give out freebies and talk to the students. Junior Ali Meng was a fan. There's like so much free stuff and like so much swag here. The event organizers hope to put on more hackathons at Cornell in the future. Reporting for The Daily Sun, I'm Amy Cho.